Greetings, I'm Heather Lang Casera, Clark County's Poet Laureate, and I am absolutely thrilled to be here today with a poet I greatly admire, Samuel Picone. Among his many accomplishments is an Inhinga Press Chapbook Prize for his incredible book, Pupa. Today, he's going to be reading for us a poem which was published in the pages of the Desert Companion. Sam, thank you so much for being here today. Well, thanks for having me. This is cool. Absolutely. So, could you tell us a bit about how you got started as a writer? Um, well, I think most writers probably have a few different beginnings. Yeah. Um, but I started writing stories for fun when I was in junior high school and in high school. Um, when I was 16, my parents bought me an electric guitar. Um, and so I started writing creatively with the purpose of writing songs, not necessarily literary type of stuff. Yeah. Um, and did that for a while until I kind of realized I wasn't that good of a guitar player. <laughs> um, and so uh, around my like mid twenties is when I started um, just doing the writing and getting involved in that as much as I could. Yeah. Well, as someone who admires your work, I'm greatly, greatly glad that you found poetry. Yes. So <laughs> I'm glad it worked out. So could you tell us a bit about how Clark County inspires you? You know, it's weird. I, recently moved here a couple of years ago and at first I'll be honest I didn't really like it here um, but what I sort of found coming from the Midwest um, is that I could pull a lot of the same things that I did from the landscape out there which is very flat desolate there's not a lot of stuff going on yeah um, it's very much the same way here when you get out of the city right um, and so I'm really drawn to and inspired by that sort of empty landscape and looking closely at um, the small minute things that kind of exist in that world they've always been really fascinating to me so i think um the landscape of this place there's a lot going on but you have to look very close to find it i, I try to pull as much as, uh, from that as i can i love it i love it i can definitely see that in your work and finally so you're a super seasoned poet do you have any advice for maybe a new writer or just other writers in general i think there's a couple of things um you know if you i, I would say the first thing is any good writer really thrives on their ability to just be curious and pay attention. It's something that we have, I think we all have instinctually, sort of born in us when we're kids. That's what we do. We play with the world, we explore, and we imagine as much as possible. Honestly, 90% of my time as a writer is just sitting around looking at stuff and, and playing pretend in my mind. So um, nurturing that idea and following those bizarre ideas as much as possible um, I think it's I, I think it's paramount if you want to write anything that has value to yourself, which which should be probably the end goal. Of absolutely, it all. I love it. I love that permission to play. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Very cool. Would you read for us, Sam? Sure. Thank you. Uh, this poem's called uh, "When I Say Everything in the World Can Look Beautiful." I mean, we don't. I mean the newlyweds on Fremont Street are drunk on desert sweat and casino light, dancing from bar to bar like a thousand gemstones rattling inside a cavern, while you and I barely manage to glare across this cocktail table, having forgotten how to touch without flinching. Inside our skin were little more than towers of bone and I don't know how to keep us stable without tenderness. The vow we made to treat each other's wounds like faults in ceramic. Maybe we're cut too deep for mending. Maybe we should try imploding like the stardust. Wouldn't it be nice to unearth a boon of buried poker chips and remarry at every neon chapel on the strip? to collapse into something bigger than ourselves for a change. Let's start small, like plumes rising from an aftermath or pools of runoff leaching opals of lye from ash, one black grain at a time. We can press the demolition between our palms and call it a beginning. Oh, Sam, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you for joining us here for poetry Absolutely. on Fremont Street. Very excited to have you. Thanks for having me. I enjoyed it. Awesome. And thank you for being here for poetry. Uh, in case you're looking for more poetry, I would like to share an event that happens every month. 
Every second Thursday at the Green Valley Library at 6 p.m., I host a poetry workshop called Nuts and Bolts. All you need to do is bring a poem. Uh, it can be the very first poem you've ever written. That's perfectly fine. And you will receive constructive feedback in a safe and encouraging environment. That said, there's poetry happening all the time, everywhere in this county. So I hope to see you at some soon. Thank you.